Shalom. All praise goes to Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Waha Raka Kwedash. Double honors to the men who taught me this truth, the apostles and elders of the great millstone. Also, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Lord willing, this lesson will be edifying. It takes faith to please the Most High. The Most High is a terrible demon-like power. He is a power that is greatly to be feared. The Most High did not give faith to everybody. Therefore, everybody can't please the Most High. And that's a scary thing, knowing that out of billions of people that's upon the planet, we have power being a part of the hopeful elect. In order to hope, you must receive the gift of faith from the Most High. And we being the hopeful elect, we have the greatest hope upon the planet, which is to be of the elect of the nation of Israel. That's our hope. Once again, we have that capability through the gift that the Most High have given us, which is the gift of faith. And the thing is, why faith is so precious, everybody don't have that gift. Therefore, everybody can't please the Most High. The book of Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 8. It says, for by grace, and one word to describe grace is favor. So by grace or by favor are ye saved through faith. So everybody can't be saved. Only the household of faith is going to be delivered in the times to come through faith. All right. The Most High didn't give everybody faith. Everybody don't have that power because faith is power. All right. It gives you the capability to believe, hope and trust in our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. It says, for by grace are ye saved through faith and that not of yourselves, meaning it was nothing that we have done or nothing that we're going to do, all right, to receive this power. It says, it is the gift of the Most High. So the Most High had mercy upon us to give us his gift in order for us to have power in these times, to have faith in the midst of a faithless generation, all right, which is two thirds of our people. Okay, let's read it again. Ephesians 2 and 8. For by grace are ye saved through faith. So everything is going to happen through faith. Okay, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of the Most High. And usually when someone gives you a gift, it's nothing that you've done to receive that gift. All right. They felt it in their heart of hearts to give you a gift. All right. So the Most High have had mercy upon us. All right. To give us that gift that brings power. All right. Once again, faith is that gift and that power that faith brings is the capability to believe, trust and hope in our Lord and Savior. Yahweh Shai. That's how we are going to work the works of the Most High. Through faith, St. John, chapter 6, and verse 28, it says, Then said they unto him, and that him is Yahweh Shai, what shall we do that we might work the works of the Most High? Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, this is the work of the Most High, that ye believe on him whom he hath sent. And what gives you the capability to believe that power comes from faith. All right. Having the gift of the Most High. OK, now, what is faith? The book of Hebrews. Chapter. Eleven. In verse one, it says, 
Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So basically, faith is believing in something that you physically can't see. Okay? If you physically see something, why should you have faith, all right, that it's going to take place, such as paying your bills, okay? If one have something tangible, such as money, all right, to pay your bills, there's no need for you to hope that you can pay your bills or have faith that your bills are going to be paid. Why? Because you have the tangible thing to pay your bills. But the scripture tells us in the book of Romans chapter 8 and verse 8. Romans 8 and 24, it says, for we are saved by hope. Once again, we just read Ephesians 2 and 8, and it speaks about through faith, we are going to be saved. All right. And hope is one of those capabilities that you receive or one of those powers that comes through faith. It says, for we are saved by hope, but hope is. That is seen is not hope for what a man seeth. Why do of he yet hope for going back to the example that I made through the spirit? If you have money to pay your bills, there's no need to have hope that your bills are going to get paid or have faith that your bills are going to get paid. You have something that is going to pay the bills and it's tangible, meaning you can see it. So there's no need to hope in that situation for we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope for what a man seeth. Why do of he yet hope for? But if we hope for that, we see not, then do we with patience wait for it. All right. And that's why we are waiting upon our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. We're waiting, all right, for the Most High and Yahweh Shai to eradicate certain situations, all right, that we pray for, okay, such as America to be destroyed, all right, for us to be delivered out of the total destruction of America. That is something unseen, but we have hope that it's going to happen. That's real faith, all right? That's power. Okay. The scriptures tells us in the book of Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 35, it says, cast not away, therefore, your confidence, which have great recompense of reward. Let's look up the word confidence, the pronunciation in the Strong's G. Strong's G, 3954. Parecia. Parecia. It says, It says, Assurance. Boldly. Confidence. Let's get a simple Google definition. See what that gives us of the word confidence. Confidence. It says the feeling or belief. See that? That one can rely on someone or something. Firm trust. And you see some of the similar words, trust, belief, faith. See that? That's the power that we have been given through the gift of faith. All right. So let's go back. Hebrews 10, since we got a clearer understanding of the word confidence, Hebrews 10 and 35. 
Cast not away, therefore, your confidence, which have great recompense of reward. Quick scripture comes to mind, Hebrews 6 and 10. For the Most High is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, that ye have shewed towards his name, all right, and minister unto the saints and do minister, roughly paraphrasing, all right, Hebrews 6 and 10. All right, so that's why we shouldn't cast not away, therefore, our confidence, because it have a great recompense of reward, meaning salvation, a crown of life, all right, perpetual rulership, new bodies, okay, seeing our enemies fall, ruling over our enemies, reigning in peace forever and ever and ever with our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. That's that great recompense of reward if we endure, all right, if we endure in the faith unto the end, Lord willing, all right? Because those that don't have faith, the scriptures tells us in the book of St. John, chapter 3, and verse 18, it says, he that believeth, and how do you believe once again through the gift of faith that gives you the capability to believe he that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already. So we are in a faithless generation or amongst or in the midst of a faithless generation and they are condemned already, meaning they are amongst the walking dead. Okay. It says, he that believeth on him and that him is Jehovah Shai. All right. He that believeth on him is not condemned. All right. So we're in the safe zone being of the household of faith because we're working the works of the most high. All right. It takes faith to please the most high. It says he that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already. Remember, the most high didn't give everybody faith. So everybody can't please the most high, regardless if they want to or not. It says, because he have not believed, see that, in the name of the only begotten son of, of the most high. And we believe in the name, all right, Yah Hawashah. Yah meaning he, Hawashah means delivers or saves. All right, when you read the book of Acts, the fourth chapter, it speaks about there is no other name that we're going to be able to be delivered by. All right, but Yah Hawashah, all right, Yah meaning he, Hawashah means delivers or saves, all right, Yahawashah name is a nomen omen, all right, nomen omen means name prediction, okay, so by one's name, he is predestinated or predicted to be such a thing, all right, so the scripture says, he that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believe is is not Salakia, but he that believeth not is condemned already because he have not believed in the name of the only begotten son, all right, of the most high, all right? So we have a chance to be delivered because we have faith right now. That's why we want to pray to continue in the faith all the way up unto the end. All right, meaning when those missiles be shot, all right, and we see those chariots in the sky shooting concentrated beams of fire upon the proud and those that do wickedly, okay? Uh, everything is in the midst of being dissolved by those missiles. We want to hold our faith all the way up until that moment because that's what's going to get us through. That's what's going to deliver us. That's what's going to please the Most High, our faith. Okay, the scriptures tells us in the book of Romans 15 and verse 4, it says, For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. And how do we hope once again? Through the gift of faith. That gives us the capability 
to hope, which is power. All right. So the things that was written aforetime was written for our learning. And there are plenty instances in the scriptures. All right. Which is our history. The scriptures is our history because the scriptures is also a history book. All right. It's a history of us and our forefathers had faith through situations and that that faith brought them through situations. Uh, Romans, the fifth chapter speaks about and hope maketh not a shame. All right. So through the things that we have read and the things that we have learned of our forefathers. All right. That gives us uh, uh, scripture says for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. So those things were recorded for our learning here in these times that we, which is the household of faith through patience and patience, meaning simply the capability to suffer that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. All right. And if you have hope, all right, as we read in Romans, the eighth chapter, we're going to have patience to wait for whatever we're hoping in. That's power. Okay. You can also read in the book of Sirach, chapter 2, and verse 10. Sirach, chapter 2, and verse 10, it says, Look at the generations of old and see. Did ever any trust in the Lord? All right. How do you trust? Through the gift of faith. That's power. And what's confounded in the answer to that question is no one. It says, or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? The answer to that question is no one. All right. It says, or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? And the answer to that question is no one. And why? Because they had faith. All right. Because what? They trusted or they trust in the Lord. How do you trust? That power comes from the gift of faith. All right. So the things that was written aforetime was written for our learning. All right. When we look at the generations of old, we will see that through faith, our forefathers all right, made it through their situations. And that was recorded to strengthen us, to let us know that if we continue in that same faith, because the Most High have not changed, we're going to reap uh, a reward. And that reward, just like our forefathers, is going to lead to salvation. Now, when you read the book of Hebrews, all right, once again, Hebrews 11 is going to give us a few accounts, all right, of things that was written aforetime, all right? It's going to give us an account of those generations of old. Let's read Hebrews 11 and 1 again. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it, which is faith, the elders obtain a good report. And we want to continue in those footsteps to have a good report with the Most High and our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, because all power has been given unto Yahweh Shai, all right, in heaven and in earth. That means Yahweh Shai has the capability to destroy you or deliver you, and we want deliverance. Verse 4, it says, by faith, so all things are done by faith, by faith, Abel, our forefather, offered unto the Most High a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous, the Most High testifying of his gifts, and by it he being dead yet speak of. So by faith, all right, our forefather Abel offered up unto the Most High a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, because Cain, just like his seed, all right. If you can uh, believe it. All right. Whether you hear or forbear through faith, if you can believe it. 
Cain came back in the reincarnation as Esau. Our forefather Abel came back in the reincarnation, all right, as um, Jacob, all right? And our forefather Jacob, after he wrestled the angel, his name was changed to Israel. Therefore came the Israelites through his 12 sons, okay? So faith is the key. Verse five, it says, by faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because the Most High had translated him for before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased the Most High, all right? And that testimony has been passed down, all right? That testimony of faith, all right? That testimony, all right, of, of prophecy. All of that revolves around prophecy, okay? Faith, all right? And having faith in what you're putting forth or saying before or prophesying, all of those things are pleasing in the sight of the Most High. Now, Enoch is, uh, uh, I want to say, a prelude or or is compatible to the elect. It says, by faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death. And that's what's going to happen to the elect in these times. It says, and was not found because the Most High translated him. For before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased the Most High. Verse six, it says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. So the Most High didn't give everybody faith. So therefore, everybody, regardless if they want to or not, without faith, they can't please the Most High. It says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe, all right, that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Verse 7, by faith, Noah, being warned of the Most High of things not seen as yet. Remember, Hebrews 11 and 1. What is faith? Basically, believing in the unseen. All right, so we're following in the footsteps of our forefathers. It says, by faith, Noah being warned of the Most High of things not seen as yet. And we have been warned of things that have not been seen as of yet, such as the almighty famine, the teeth of the wild beasts coming out of the woods into the cities due to the power being out. Okay. Concentration camps. Okay. America being totally annihilated off of the face of the earth by the way of 200 million intercontinental ballistic missiles, all right, accompanied by those concentrated beams of fire coming out of the chariots, okay? These are things that have not been seen as of yet, but we have been warned of those things. So we're what? As the scripture says, move with fear. We're moving with fear, all right? In the form of uh, doing what, Ezekiel 3 and 17 told us to do, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Hear the word at my mouth and give them, meaning the house of Israel, warning from me. All right, so we're moving with fear. All right, through the terrors of the Lord, we persuade men. It says, prepared an ark to the saving of his house. And that's what we're doing. We're preparing a spiritual ark to the saving of the house of David, the household of faith, the hopeful elect. It says, by the which he condemned the world, and we are in the midst of condemning two-thirds of our people, Esau, Edom, and the rest of the heathen nations. All right, in the midst of us building this spiritual ark, prophesying the downfall of America, edifying our people through the spirit of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay, it says, by the which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness, which is by faith, all right? So it's all by faith, all right? That's the only way that we're going to please the Most High, through faith, all right? 
verse 8, it says, By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive for an inheritance, obeyed, and he went out, not knowing whether he went. By faith, he sojourned in the land of promise, as in a strange country, dwelling in the tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heir with him of the same promise. All right. So we are seeing accounts of our forefathers. All right. And the results of them moving with fear and moving through faith in the most high. The result is them prospering. All right. And that's going to be our result is prospering. All right. Through the gift that we have been given. All right. If we utilize that gift and uh, execute the power through that gift, which is the capability to hope, believe and trust in our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, and the doctrine that we have received and continue in it all the way up until the end, we are going to be rewarded. All right. The book of Psalms. Chapter 37. In verse 39, it says, let's start at 38. It says, but the transgressors shall be destroyed together. It says, the end of the wicked shall be cut off. Let's read that again. But the transgressors shall be destroyed together. The end of the wicked shall shall be cut off. Verse 39, it says, but the salvation of the righteous is of the Lord. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. He is their strength in the time of trouble and the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. So deliverance, all right, comes by us having trust, by us believing, by us hoping, all right, in Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. And those powers come from the gift of faith. And that's how we're going to please the Most High, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, because it takes faith to please the Most High. Lord willing, I pray that this made sense and that this was edifying. Shalom.